In this video presentation, we will see about the different types of stain and various staining techniques for the microscopic examination used in the field of the microbiology. First, we will see about what is the difference in the terms of the dye and the stain. Both are the coloring agents. Generally, the dyes are the coloring agent used for general purposes, that is, used against the inanimate objects. But the stains are the coloring agent used for biological purposes, like staining the cells, the bacteria, and other microorganisms. The purpose of the staining. The first purpose is to see the organisms better under the microscope. Secondly, to differentiate one organism from another. Lastly, to determine or to demonstrate the particular structures of the bacteria, like the bacterial spore, the bacterial flagella, and etc. These are the purposes for the staining. Next, what are the components present in the stain? There are the three constituents that make up the stain. Number one, the benzene ring. This is an organic, colorless solvent. Number two, the chromophore group. This is a color bearing compound. This benzene ring and chromophore group together, it is termed as the chromogen. Lastly, the oxochrome. This is the color intensifier or the color enhancer. These are the three constituents present in the stain. So, the stain is chemically defined as an organic compound containing both the chromophore and the oxochrome groups linked to its benzene ring. Next, how these stains are classified, especially based on their charges. It is classified into three types, the acidic stain, the basic stain, and the neutral stain. These are the three types of stain classified based on their charges. First, the acidic stain. The example is the eosin. This eosin is an acidic stain and are the negatively charged one that have the high affinity for the basic components, that is, the positively charged structure of the cell, like the cytoplasm. The other examples of the acidic stains are the nigrosin, the India ink, and etc. These acidic stains are not often used in the microbiology laboratory, except the nigrosin, in some case, like the negative staining technique for the demonstration of the bacterial capsule. Next, the basic stain. The example is the methylene blue. This methylene blue is a basic stain and are the positively charged one that have the high affinity for the acidic components, that is, the negatively charged structure of the cell, like the nucleus. The importantly, the microorganisms, like bacteria, have mostly acidic components. That is, they are negatively charged. So, they have the high affinity for the basic stain, that is, the positively charged stains, like the methylene blue. So, these basic stains are often used in the microbiology laboratory. The other examples of the basic stains are the crystal violet, the carbyl fuchsin, and the safranine. Lastly, the neutral stain. The example is the Leishman stain. This stain is most commonly used in the blood smear staining technique. This consists of the eosin, which is an acidic stain, and the methylene blue, which is a basic stain. This methylene blue is a basic stain and are the positively charged one that have the high affinity for the acidic components, that is, negatively charged structure of the cell, the nucleus. And the eosin is an acidic stain and are the negatively charged one that have the high affinity for the basic components, that is, the positively charged structure of the cell, the cytoplasm, and the granules in some cells. But, the microorganisms, like, bacteria, have, mostly acidic components. That is, they are, negatively charged. So, they have, the high affinity for, the basic stain, that is, the positively charged stains, like, the methylene blue. So, the bacteria, appears, deep blue, on Leishman staining. 
Next, the classification of the staining techniques. It is classified into three types the simple staining, the differential staining, and the special or the structural staining. Simple staining. Here, only one stain is used. So, all bacteria are stained similarly. Just to identify their shape, size, and the arrangement of the bacteria. Stains like either Lofler's methylene blue or dilute carbyl fuschian staining solution is used. A brief discussion on the different shapes of bacteria. Some bacteria are spherical shaped. This type of bacteria is called as cocci. And the bacteria can be rod shaped. This type of bacteria is called as bacilli. If it is in between, that is, short, plumpy, rod shaped, then they are called as coco bacilli. These are the major shapes of the bacteria. Other shape of the bacteria are spiral shaped. This type of bacteria is called as spirilla. The example of bacteria is spirillum species. Then, corkscrew shaped. The example, spirochetes. Curved rod shaped, that is, comma shaped. The example, vibrio species. These are the other shapes of the bacteria. Now, we will see about the different arrangements observed in the bacteria. You know, the spherical shaped bacteria is called as cocci. But, if the two cocci are arranged in pair, then it is called as diplo cocci. If it is in square of four cocci, then it is called as tetrad. The example of bacteria is micro coccus species. And it can be arranged in cube of eight cocci. The example sarsina. The cocci can be arranged in chain. The example of bacteria is strepto coccus species. And the cocci can be arranged in clusters. The example, Staphylo, Coccus species. These are some arrangements observed in cocci. You know, the rod shaped bacteria is called as bacilli. It can be arranged as chain of bacilli. The example, Strepto, Bacillus species. And the bacilli can also have palisid arrangement. The example, Carni, bacterium species. These are some arrangements noticed in bacilli. Next, the differential bacterial staining technique. This is used to differentiate the bacterial organisms. Here, more than one stain is used. This technique is used to differentiate and classify the bacterial organisms into two groups. The gram staining and the acid fast staining are the differential bacterial staining techniques. The gram staining differentiate the bacteria into the gram positive and the gram negative bacteria. Next, the acid fast staining, which differentiate the bacteria into the acid fast and the non acid fast bacteria. So, after gram staining, on microscopic examination, if the organisms are stained deep violet, then they are the gram positive bacteria. On microscopic examination, if the organisms are stained pink, then they are the gram negative bacteria. But, on acid fast staining, our interest is to identify the acid fast bacteria. The very good example of an acid fast bacteria is Mycobacterium species, which is the causative agent of the tuberculosis, the TB, in humans and animals, and the causative agent of the para tuberculosis in animals. So, after acid fast staining on microscopic examination, if you are able to find the organisms that are stained pink, then they are the acid fast bacteria. The link for the video demonstration for this two staining technique is available in the below YouTube description. Next, the special staining. They are also called as structural staining techniques because in these methods which helps to determine or to demonstrate the particular structures of the bacteria like the bacterial spore the bacterial flagella and etc certain bacteria posses the capsule over the cell wall this capsule do not have affinity for the stain so the capsule can be 
demonstrated by the negative staining technique. Here, the backgrounds are stained by using the Nigerson or by the India ink stain. So, they are called as the negative staining. Next, certain bacteria, posses, the endospore, that is, the spore within the vegetative portion of the bacteria. This spore can be stained by the Schaefer and Fulton staining technique. Here, the endospores are stained green and the vegetative portion of the bacteria are stained pink. By this staining technique, we can identify the different types of the bacterial endospore. The shape and the position of the spores varies in different species. This is useful for classification and identification purposes by identifying their shape and the position. If the position and the shape is the central oval bulging spore. The example is the Clostridium edimantins. Next, the subterminal oval bulging spore. The example is the Clostridium chawi. Next, the terminal oval bulging spore. It gives the appearance of the tennis racket. The example is the Clostridium tertium. Next, the terminal spherical bulging spore. It gives the appearance of the drumstick. The example is the Clostridium tetany. And lastly, the central spherical non bulging spore. The example is the Bacillus anthracis, the causative agent of the anthrax. So, by Schaefer and Fulton staining technique, we can stain and identify different types of the bacterial endospore. Next, certain bacteria, posses, the flagella, the organ of locomotion, in the bacteria, essential for the bacterial motility. This flagella can be stained by the leaves and staining technique. Here, the flagella are stained red and the vegetative portion of the bacteria are stained blue. By this staining technique, we can identify the different types of the modal bacteria by based on the position of the flagella in the bacteria. If the single flagella present at the one end, then they are called as the monotrichus. Next, the single flagella present at the both the ends, then they are called as the amphitrichus. If the tuft of flagella present at the one end, then they are called as the lophotrichus. Next, the tuft of flagella present at the both the ends, then they are called as the amphilophotrichus. If the flagella present all over the bacteria, then they are called as the peritrichus. Next, certain bacteria, like the Coronibacterium, diphtheria, posses, the meta chromatic granules inside the bacteria. This meta chromatic granules, also called as the volutin granules, these granules can be stained by the Albert staining technique. Here, the granules are stained bluish black and the cytoplasm of the bacteria are stained green. These are some of the special staining procedure used for the demonstration of the structures like the spore, the flagella, the meta chromatic granules, and the capsule. With this, we are coming to the end of the bacterial stains and the staining techniques. In next video presentation, we will see about the structure of the bacteria with their properties and function of the different components in the bacteria. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you. Thank you.